things up in there. Peace fam, this is Mustafa, digital marketing specialist and tech evangelist, coming at you with another video. My co-host is off tonight, me going solo. Um, I don't plan to be too long tonight. We are broadcasting from Facebook, personal page, Facebook, Mustafa Talks Tech page, and my LinkedIn, Mustafa Talks Tech. So as I say tonight, uh, we're going to talk about a subject very briefly, something to think about, yep, something to think about and ponder over. Um, I came up with the topic of content is the pillar upon which all your digital marketing is built. Content creation is the pillar upon which all your digital marketing is built. Now, in digital marketing, that is such a broad umbrella type term that encompasses so many different lanes. In digital marketing, you have email marketing. In digital marketing, you have social media marketing. In digital marketing, you have SEO. You have, of course, content marketing. You have so many different pillars and different lanes in digital marketing that when you say you're in digital marketing or someone says can you help me with my digital marketing you have to be very specific in what do you mean help you with your digital marketing but in the subject of tonight video that i'm talking about is content creation is the pillar upon which all your digital marketing is built built and content is that information that you create or videos that you create or podcasts, blogging, different type of information products, digital in nature that you create, which becomes your content. So content creation is the pillar upon which all your digital marketing is built. Because before you can even talk about email marketing, you have to have some content. You have to have a lead product. Before you talk about social media marketing, you have to have content. You have to have some social media graphics or some memes or some type of words or some type of um, some information to put out there into the social media um, atmosphere. So you have to have content. If you're doing um, video marketing, that's self-explanatory. You got to have recorded video either live or pre-recorded which is another form of content you know so we can't escape content creation as it is the upon which all your digital marketing is built so for the next few minutes i just want to go over this content marketing and how it's so beneficial and how it is a pillar that will hold up and support all of your other digital marketing initiatives there are seven types of content in content marketing content creation and everything that i'm going over tonight is all in the free ebook that i produced and have made available for download ebook is building your brand and information empire with content which is about 35 pages of information wherein I'm taking years of me studying content creation and marketing, practicing content creation and marketing, uh, consulting with people about content creation and marketing. And I put it all into a book, put it all into digestible information that you can read at your leisure and that you Learn from content creation and content marketing. So if you haven't got that ebook yet by myself, download it. I'll put the link in the comments of this video and you can download that book. And a lot of questions you may have if you're a content creator or you're into content marketing, I guarantee you the answer is probably somewhere in that book. But in that book, I talk about seven types of content for content creators. The first type is infographics. If you've seen an infographic, it's a tall, long form type graphic, which has it puts together images and words. It's informational in nature. 
and it follows a sequence like a step one, step two, step three, step four. You may have seen those infographics out there. Another type of content is ebooks, which I just talked about. An ebook is when you put words and you put it into a digital package where as someone would read a physical book, you it for the internet world, the digital world, where someone can download your ebook, read it on a reader, Kindle reader, or read it in a PDF format, but it's a sharing of information in electronic digital manner. Um, another type of content is memes and social media graphics. Now, I'm big on producing memes. I built a page, a, uh, a social media page, nearly 20,000 before just off memes, just sharing memes. Memes are so good because they're small, digestible nuggets of information, which can be easily made viral because it's not something that you have to download. It's not a lot of information you have to read. It's not something a lot that you have to listen to. It's not something that you have to watch in the case of a video. A meme is what you see is what you get. All the information is in that little, um, that little information, a meme. So that's another form of content. Video is content, YouTube, TikTok. You know, those are video sharing platforms and video is definitely a form of content. And they say content is king, but video is the king in content, which is king. So video is way up there that they say in the future that so much of information will be consumed by video as opposed to any other form of content. So definitely um, don't sleep on content. I mean, video as uh, one of your content creations. Um, podcasts. Podcasts is another form of content creation. And podcasts are very, very popular because whereas video, YouTube, TikTok videos, you have to have your eyes glued to your laptop or your computer or your phone. Where with the podcast, of it as being a content uh, piece of content is that you don't have to have your eyes glued to anything. You can actually put on some AirPods, put on some, some, some headphones, and you can go about your business. You can go on your daily walk. You can go on your daily jog. You can go to the gym. You can be in your car. Make sure, you, make sure you're being safe. You can be at work at your desk. You can, as long as you can pop them AirPods in or headphones, you can listen to podcasts under many different circumstances. You can be in the kitchen cooking a meal for your family, and you got them headphones in, and you listen to a podcast. So a podcast is a very beneficial form of content because it's um, it allows people to consume it without being distracted whereas a video you have to sit there and actually watch or a book you have to actually sit there and read so that podcast allows people to be mobile and active in many different situations while still consuming your in, your information so podcast is huge um, another form of content is a blog post um, a blog post short for uh, blog back in the day is you setting up a website which allows you in chronological to set up what are called blog posts. Your blog posts are like articles, or they can be just you sharing your thoughts of the day or giving feedback, or you can be put on, or you can put memes on your blog. You can give reflections. Uh, you can do so much with a blog as it being an information sharing platform. So. A blog is very, very powerful. It allows you to build a name for yourself, to build SEO, search engine optimization, and search engine authority in the um, Google search engine and other search engines. And it allows your name to rise as an authority and a trust. Because before you can market and sell anything, you have to sell yourself. And that blog will allow you to become a figure that people are familiar with, people have grown to trust, and people respect the knowledge that you give. So a blog is a very, very powerful form of content that allows you to build authority and build trust. The last um, type of content is similar to blog, but 
whereas a blog is so broad, you know, so many different type of content can be on a blog. The last content is articles, where when you write articles, it allows you to be seen as the expert. It allows you to put in written format your authority, your expertise, your knowledge, so that when people read that, they become a step away and feel that you know something, you're able to help them in something, and you're able to share some useful information. One of the great info uh, articles um, platforms right now is medium.com. And with medium.com, it's free and anybody can articles to it. And the good thing about medium.com, even if you don't have a blog or even if you don't even want to go get a blog, or so you can start your information and content creation on medium.com and you can start writing articles every week like if you're into health you start writing articles every week about health you give them a health tidbit you start breaking down some different things about health you start showing them ways to improve their health them some new uh innovations that's coming up in health or some things they may want to avoid you can talk about you know different uh exercise and then meal prep and how to um, eat better. And you start putting these articles out every week through medium.com. What that's going to do is it's going to build your authority up in the Google search engine. And then the good thing about medium.com is that you can have your own domain name. So instead of it being www.medium.com slash blah, 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 you can have www.sayyourname.com. So if your name is Ashley Johnson, it's www.ashleyjohnson.com. So you begin over time, Ashley Johnson, just using the name, becomes an authority and a figure of knowledge. So when people start searching in Google, say someone's searching for health tips, what if you came up at the top search engine? www.sayyourname.com comes up and then someone comes into medium.com and they read all about you and you got 10, 15, 20 articles where you breaking down hell instead of eating better living. You see what I'm saying? And therefore, people come away with, this is an authority. This person know what they're talking about. That's just you producing content. And then when you have that article or have that particular piece of content, you can lead them into other ways. Hey, you like these articles? I got these videos over here you need to check out. You like this article? I got this podcast over here. You like this article? I got a physical book or an ebook you can download or purchase and buy. So just by starting to write articles, you start to bring them into your ecosystem and into your world and learning about you. So those were seven types of content that you can create. And that content, as I say, content creation is the pillar upon which all your digital marketing is built. Now, I want to give you an example of how just you posting on social media that you may think is just regular and simple and it's nothing big. But I'm going to show you how, as we wrap this up, how just your regular social media posting can be parlayed into something big. Now, I have a Facebook friend. He may be on here. But I have a Facebook friend who he posts workout videos several times a week. You know, doing the whole nine, right? And every time these videos come up, I watch them. I, I enjoy watching him work out and explaining, you know, different um exercises and different workout techniques and different ways you can you know build your body and strengthen your body and be more healthier right and when i watch these videos they're inspirational to me because i may not have had the inspiration that day to do anything with my body but just watching that video see that's content he's creating content just putting videos up on facebook of him working out now he could take that to another level very easily See, that's one form of content. Now, what if he did this or you did this? Okay, I'm putting up these workout videos, right? And if you like my workout videos and it's inspirational and it's inspiring to you, I got an ebook too. And in my ebook, I'm going to break down seven weeks, seven days, 
seven different ways of exercising, how to improve your body, how to strengthen your body, how to build your cardio, how to um, gain more, gain strength, how to lose weight. What if you had an ebook connected to everybody that watched that video, right? And then what if you had to build an email list? See, now it all starts with just doing a video. And then you produce an email list because now you got a digital product where you tell them, sign up for my email list. I'm going to give you a free guide that's going to show you how to produce healthy meals, how to exercise during the week, and how to be better health overall, right? So now you create a video, you got a digital downloadable product ebook, and now you're building an email list. And when you have an email list, see that allows you to communicate directly with your audience see if you're on social media you're at the mercy of the social media algorithm that when you put up a post the social media algorithm it judges and determines whether your post is even important as whether it's going to show it to your audience or not that's why those that are on social media and you know what i'm talking about Sometimes you can put a post up, you put your heart into it, you put everything into it, and you think this is something informative, and it gets no likes. Nobody sees it. It's not that people are ignoring you. It's that the social media algorithm determined that this is not important. I'm not showing it to nobody. So it's not that people are ignoring you. They didn't even see it. But if you have your own email list, right, and you get 500 people on your email list because you offer them a free downloadable ebook because they saw your videos on Facebook. When you have an email list, then you're not at the mercy of a social media algorithm anymore. You can talk directly to your audience because now you can produce a, a, a newsletter. And with that newsletter, every week you talk direct to your um, subscribers. So that's another form of content. And with just producing that video, you can take this all the way. That's just off a of man producing exercise videos on social media. Or let's say you do this. Let's say you're a chef, you're a cook, right? And every week you want to come on social media and you want to show them the preparation of food. Say, you know, most people, we work working 40 hours a week. We have children, we got families. We try to be human beings. We try to keep our sanity. Sometimes you come home and you're too tired to be trying to cook. That's why the fast food industry is such as it is. People ain't got time. It's more convenient to pull into Burger King or McDonald's or some other place and pick up a meal than to prepare a meal. But what if you came on Facebook a few times a week, like you see me on this video right here, and you say, you know what? I'm, I'm going to show you in these videos how to produce healthy meals in less time, 15 to 20 minutes. They can feed you and your family cost effective and it'd be uh easy easy on, on your time and easy on your budget people will tune into that right and over time by producing that type of content you're going to start to build an audience and just as the brother did with exercise once you start building an audience people start knowing you the go-to person man every week he putting up a new video talking about how to prepare my food they're showing me how to set out my decor they're showing me how you know the grocery shop better to find those deals and to cut costs because you can take 50 dollars to the grocery store and they don't do what it used to do you come out with two three things and you just spend 53 dollars and 99 cents you wonder where all the groceries at you ain't got nothing but what if you became that expert who showed them how to grocery shop better so they can make that 50 dollars go somewhere how to prepare the food quicker in 15 20 minutes and it's healthy, and it's something that can take care of their family. People will tune in for that. And once you build a big enough audience just off social media, you just talk, you just posting video, just like I'm doing right here. You sitting in front of a laptop, you sitting in front of your phone, you hitting play, you hitting live, and you're talking and helping and providing information to people that's useful. Then over time, you start building that audience, and then you go to the next level. See now, you compile the information that you give you an ebook which is you can produce through canva or you can produce through other tools but you produce a pdf ebook and you put in the information that you give away for free put it in the ebook for free as well right and in that ebook you break down 10 easy recipes in that ebook you put down ways to shop and make your dollar stretch in that ebook 
you put down um, different ways of how to cook and how to get uh, the health benefits food you talk about the nutrition you talk you know all of those things now you got a valuable product that is now easily downloadable it just started with producing content in the form of a video now you can switch over to producing an ebook and then from the ebook right you can set up that email list just like i said because to get that ebook you just make it mandatory hey put in your email address i'm giving you this free ebook so now in your sales funnel and now you can future communicate with them as long as you got that email you're not going to abuse it but it's a way for you to future communicate with them and like you can put out a newsletter hey i got some new um, um food tips coming up i got some new preparation i got some new ideas that's coming out and you put it in the newsletter and you blast that out to your subscriber list, build off your email list and then you go from there and then you can um parlay that into so many different areas i mean you can start doing a consulting where you tell them hey for a fee i can consult with you one-on-one -on -one where i can give you those specific and um tips that are tailor-made to your particular situation just started with you producing content producing a video producing a downloadable ebook so Content is the pillar upon which all your digital marketing is built. Don't sleep on that. So those are just some of the things that I want to share with you about how powerful content is. Before you do anything else in digital marketing, trying to grow a following on social media or YouTube, you got to you gotta master it and be about that content. Content is free. You know, Google ads cost. Uh, Google ads cost. You know some other techniques that you may use it costs money but content don't cost nothing only thing it costs is you have an imagination all it costs is your time so as long as you got a smartphone as long as you got a laptop in front of you and you have a creative mind and you have a particular that is your passion that gives you excitement and is useful to other people giving useful information then you better run with it and start using social media for what it's for to benefit you, not for mindless stupidity. You can come up off social media. You can make a platform off social media. You can make a future for yourself off social media with social media and this smartphone. But you got to build content. So I would like to download my book. Building your brand and information empire with content because you can build your brand, you can build an information empire with content so that every time somebody Google quick, easy meals for dinner tonight, you come up number one, they're looking for you. Exercise tips in my 40s, you come up number one. Um, anything you think of, whatever your niche is you can build an authority for yourself and build an information empire so that whenever people start searching for this information and 2 billion people get on social media every day, there's an audience for you that you may think, oh, ain't nobody gonna hear what I gotta say. It's 2 billion people on social media on any given day. All you gotta do is get 100. All you gotta do is get 150. All you need is 200 out of 2 billion people and build your audience around that and get those people to be your fans and your uh, supporters. That's all you need. You can build a whole platform. You can build a whole empire off 100 to 200 people. That's all you need. So download that book, Building Your Brand and Information Empire with Content, and, I, and just start reading through it. And then those seven examples of content that I gave out, infographics, ebooks, memes, social media graphics, video, podcasts, blogs, articles. Those are seven types of content. You can use one or you can use all of them. I use all, I go, I go through all them contents. I got infographics, I got ebooks, I got memes floating out there, I got videos, I got a podcast, I got a YouTube channel, I got a blog, I got articles. I use all of them. But you don't have to use all of them, but you can go through that seven or ten types and you can find out which type resonate with you. I mean, you may be a writer, so therefore you may want to write, you want to create a blog, you may want to write articles on medium.com. You may be a, you may be a talker like me. You just may just like to talk. 
but let's talk about something that's beneficial to other people. So if you like to talk and you got information and you can talk without tripping over your words, then you need to be on um, YouTube sharing information and helping people and building your audience or producing your podcast. Or if you're just kind of more of an introvert, behind the scenes person, you know, you ain't trying to be on screen like that, then you just produce your blog or produce your ebook. So the ways to attack and go out the content, you just got to find your way of doing it and you have to find your niche. I can't, I, I don't know what your niche is, but find out that thing that works for you, that makes you happy. Find that thing that, you know, it drives you, it's your passion. You know, for me, talking about digital marketing, I like talking about content marketing. I like showing people how to get online and produce a platform for themselves. I like showing people how, man, this smartphone right here is the best tool that's ever been invented. Because with this smartphone, you can produce income. With this smartphone, you can produce a name and a following for yourself. I love talking about that. So that's what I talk about. That's my niche. And so based upon my niche, I build content all around my niche. So you have to find your niche too. I mean, if, you, I mean, if you're a motivational speaker, you know how hard times is right now? You know how people catching hell, trying to pay rent, pay mortgage, pay car notes, trying to keep food on the table. It's hard out here for people. People robbing Paul to pay Peter, robbing Peter back to pay Paul. If you can get on Facebook on a daily basis or a few times a week and you were able to give a motivational message where you came on in and told them, don't walk with your head hung down. Hold your head up high. You're a child of God. Your best is yet to come. You're going to shine. You're going to win. Don't let this year beat you down. You overcome this year. Now, you go, you get on there and start talking motivational words like that. See somebody that was feeling down and feeling low and only had 25 cents and lint in their pocket. See, they're going to start team to your page because they know your page is fueling station. That when they come on your page, you uplift them. You inspire them. You make them feel good about themselves. You give them hope. So, as I said, with the food example, with the exercise workout example, you can build a motivational platform just from your social media page. And then once you build a platform and build an audience, you just follow all the other steps. Do your ebook, do your um emails, build your YouTube platform where now you're just motivating people. I mean, it don't, it don't cost nothing to produce a motivational video two, three times a week. It don't cost nothing. Nothing. You just gotta have the heart and open your mouth and just speak to people's pain speak to people's struggle and show them how it's not over until you win. Don't walk with your head hung down. Hold your head up high. So that's another thing I'm doing all night, just giving examples of how you can take a niche or a passion that you have and you can flip it and run with it. So that's that's all I'm trying to say to you, fam, that be smart with your smartphone. I know it's a lot of distractions on the smartphone. I mean, they got games, they got music, they got movies. Some people watch porn. I mean, it's, it's everything on your smartphone, right? But I'm saying be smart with your smartphone. If you know how to do something or you have some knowledge base, I suggest that you start using your smartphone to be smart. And you can start building a platform for yourself. And that platform for yourself can be monetarily lucrative. I'm not saying this is a get rich quick scheme or you're going to become a millionaire. But when you start building a platform for yourself and you start being that person who fulfills your and you provide value to other people, people will feel it's a fair compensation that you provide value to them. They're going to provide value back to you. It just starts with you figuring out how to produce some content. So family. I done ran my mouth for 30 minutes, man. I will probably just come on here for 10 minutes, and I'm up here still running my darn mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and tune it out, family. But, again, I'm going to put that book, that e in the comments, and I want you to download that ebook right now and start reading that ebook. And I broke down this ebook in a way where – who is that? Okay. I broke down that ebook in a way where it's not just me shooting off information, just boom, boom, boom. But I broke down the ebook in a way where I have a workbook attached to the ebook because now you need to flesh out the information. I give you the tools, but now you got to flesh out the information. And if you read the ebook and then follow the workbook with it, 
it's going to show you how to break down the steps, feed you all the information, but now how do you practical make it happen in real time? And the workbook is good for that because it's going to show you how step one is how you make that happen. Step two, that's how you make that happen. Step three. So now, you know, you can just follow the uh, follow the path and you can take this thing over. So thank you, fam, for coming, um, checking out this live tonight. Didn't mean to go 30 minutes, but I'm a talker. And I like talking about what I'm talking about, digital marketing and content marketing. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and tune out uh, all my peeps on Facebook, uh, my Facebook business page and LinkedIn. Peace to you. If you um, get the chance, go to my website. It's floating right down there. Say connect with Mustafa Talks Tech at MustafaTalksTech.com. That will bring you into my ecosystem. And you can call me too at 850-304-2882. That's not my personal number. That's my business number. So call away. But go to my uh, website, MustafaTalksTech.com, and that's going to bring you into my ecosystem. And I'm telling you, I got I got a lot of information to share. I mean, just my YouTube channel alone, I got over 61 or 60 videos right now on YouTube ready for you to watch where I break down all the different aspects of digital marketing, content marketing, email marketing, how to build a brand, how to build a platform, how to repurpose your content, how to um, produce a digital product, an ebook, where you can start having people pulling your information down when you sleep. See, a digital uh, uh, ebook, that's instantly downloaded. You can be asleep 2 o'clock in the morning. People can come across your information and download that ebook. But uh, check out those videos. I've also um, converted my videos into audio. So I also have a podcast, Mustafa Talks Tech. I got a blog. Mustafa Talks Tech dot blog. Go to my blog. I write too about this, and I break all this down on my blog. Um, yeah, definitely get my ebook, and I do consult. I do consulting as well. Um, on Tuesdays, on Wednesdays and Sundays, I do free consultation for fifteen minutes, where you can come on and we can set up a video chat. And we could talk one on one just like this because you may have a particular unique struggle that you're going on with. And I got I got I got the experience and the knowledge. I'm not too more horn experience and the knowledge. And in this consultation, I can listen to what you're saying. I can hear where you're trying to go and I can cut down the time and you trying to figure it out on your own. I can tell you where to go. I can say, oh, it sounds like well, just do this what you need to do. Just go do that. Do this. Do that. So I'm cutting out on all the time and you trying to feel in the dark, trying to feel out where, where to go. I can tell you which way to go. So I do those free consultations for 15 minutes. Um, longer than that, you have to pay a, a fee. But I do give 15 minute consultations on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Wednesdays, Friday and Sunday, I think. But if you go to MustafaTalksTech.com, my website is floating down there. The actual times, I flipped around the times a few times, but the current times are at, at my website, MustafaTalksTech.com. But hook up with me and cons, uh, consult with me. I can answer a lot of your questions about how to build digital marketing platforms, how to build a social media platform, how to do your content marketing, content creation. And even just right now, you may be sitting on a gold mine of content right now. You don't even know it because I can show you how just your simple facebook post how you can repurpose just your facebook post and i can show you how you can turn and flip around your basic facebook post and you can create man 25 pieces of content easily just off your facebook post that you put up every day you didn't even think it was it was worth anything big but i can show you how to repurpose that content and turn it into something you can create a whole ebook you think people think man i, I ain't got time to write no book you could take facebook posts and repurpose them and turn them into an ebook. I mean, an ebook don't have to be big. It can be 30, 35, 40 pages, sometimes 20 to 25 pages. You could just take your social media posts and repurpose that. And you got an ebook. You can have an ebook by Monday for real. If you just go through your, your social media page and you can have an ebook floating out by Monday morning, it's guaranteed. So hook up with me, MustafaDogsTech.com. Call me if you feel so inclined, 850-304-2882. Let's talk about some tech. Let's talk about digital marketing. Let's talk about your content marketing. Let me see how I can help you. 
And um, I'll see you next time on another video. Peace.